guys, welcome back to another video. This is Motivation for Young Christians. Welcome back, welcome back. Today we're going to be continuing the series of how can this church keep the youth more engaged. This is part three with the youth. I'll be giving you guys a little sermon and then we we'll get straight into the questions and the answers from the youth. Hello everybody, my name is Evan Holder. I'm from Malta Street in the East New York. To begin, I'd like to give you a little information about who I am and what I do. I'm 17 years old, I'm a Christian, a creator, a videographer, an editor, a preacher, a motivational speaker, a YouTuber, and last, the CEO and founder of Motivation for Young Christian, which is my YouTube channel that you're watching right now. On my YouTube channel, I make motivational videos for young Christians on topics such as temptation, fear, forgiveness, and more, all designed to help the youth live out to their full purpose. Our topic for today will be how can the church keep the youth more engaged? To begin, I'd like to give you guys a little backstory of how this topic relates to me. I grew up in church and I've been going to church all my life. Both sides of my family are Christian, my mom's side and my dad's side. I grew up in Guyana, which is a country in South America, if you guys didn't know. While I was there, I attended church and loved it so much. I would go to church all the time, Sunday schools, event, choir rehearsal, and just to help out. But one thing about growing up in a Christian household, we never really had Bible study, talked about God, why we believed in God, or really explained what was the purpose of going to church. But I didn't let those factors stop me from loving church or being a Christian. When I came over to America, I continued to be a Christian and continue to have my love going to church. I did choir rehearsal, dance rehearsal, went to service, events, help out as I did before. But it was until I switched churches that I really started to have a disconnect and wasn't too much engaged in the church no more. At this time, I was the old I was around. I was doing and saying a lot of bad things. And the actions that I was displaying outside of the church, I started to display those actions inside of the church. Because I didn't really like how the church was running the church. It wasn't like my old church. I didn't want to be there. For a period of two to three years, I started to cause a lot of problems in the church. I was fighting, misbehaving a lot, a lot disrespecting people. But at the beginning of eighth grade, I decided to change myself and my behavior because I was tired of having a bad reputation, getting in trouble, and being a bad Christian. Also, at this time, I was two years into my YouTube career. I was making funny videos, motivational videos, preaching videos, and I, and I was not living what I preach. From eighth grade to now, as I'm in 11th grade, I've worked on myself. I'm a new person with a different mindset. I've gained back my love for church, going to church, and being a Christian. Also, I've continued to make my motivational and Christian videos that has I've done before for the last five years of my life. The reason I chose this topic is because I've noticed for the past couple of years now that the youth are getting less engaged in the church. And I want to find out how we as a church can keep the youth more engaged. We need the youth to be engaged in the church because the youth will lead the next generation. The youth are very important to the church and the church wouldn't function without them. In the Bible, it says Psalms 24, chapter 6, in James Version. This is the generation of them that seeks him, that seeks thy faith, O Jacob's soul. The youth hold a valuable position in the church and without them, the church is lost. Now with your help, we'll be able to get the youth more engaged in the church so we don't lose more youth to the world. I have three questions for you guys. Today, to answer on the topic of how can the church keep the youth more engaged. Okay, guys, I brought a Josh with me to help us answer the questions for today. But I do also have answers from the other youth because in part one, I told you guys that my church and all many churches don't meet together. We did meet together. And from the three questions that I asked, I collected their answer. And right after we get Brother Josh's answer, I will be presenting their answer on the screen too. To begin, Brother Josh, just give the audience a little introduction of yourself and we get straight into the questions. What's up everyone? Uh, as you said, my name is Brother Josh. Happy to be here. Happy to help. Um, I am a worship leader. I'm also going forward in ministry, but in the simplest form, I'm a child of God and I'm happy to be here. Happy to help out. Amen. Amen. To begin, first question, Brother Josh. Are you engaged in your church? Why or why not? Um, yeah, so Previously mentioned, I am engaged in my church. I'm a worship leader and I'm also going forward in ministry. So occasionally on a youth Sunday, I'll be called to give a message towards the youth or something along those lines. And 
the why is because that's my calling. That's what the Lord has specifically called me to do. But there's so many different ways that we can all be involved in the church. You don't have to be in the worship team. You don't have to be on the pulpit preaching. Um, if you want to get involved, you can speak to your local youth leader or your pastor and ask them what you can do to help build the kingdom from your location. Before the pandemic, I was engaged in church, but after the pandemic, it became harder to be engaged in church since we weren't in person anymore and I no longer had my responsibilities that I had in the church before. Question two, what does your church do now to engage you? If so, do you want them to do more of that or something else? Um, yes, so along the lines of worship leading, um, with my worship team, we get together once in a while just little worship sessions, you know, not for any specific service, not for any specific recording, but just to come together, just to glorify the Lord together. And that specifically keeps me engaged because I'm surrounded by other young people and it just shows me, you know, what it's all about. And that is definitely something that I think we need more of, you know, not for the sake of a service, not for the sake of being seen, uh, but just to worship and just to glorify the Lord. So that is definitely something that I enjoy and I pray that we continue to do more of that in the future. And just how you share with where we get more in deep about God and talk about different topics. The church youth service keep me engaged because we use things that I like to bring the word and have fun. We use Kahoot, TikTok, and games to talk about the word. Question three, what can your church do more to keep you engaged or the youth? I would go more along the lines of the youth in general. And I'd say, um, when it comes to keeping the youth engaged, I think you just have to have the understanding of what the youth are currently engaged in, right? So there definitely needs to be some type of connection um, more than just seeing each other on Sundays between youth leaders and the actual youth. You know, you need to stay connected with the children, right? Like I don't think anyone should necessarily consider themselves active in youth ministry if they don't even know what TikTok is, right? Because that's what the children are on. So I think that um, the church just needs to maintain connection with the youth, um, not just on Sundays, not just at a youth service, but check in on them, see how they're doing, and that will make them appreciate more and more what the body of Christ is doing. So I would say to keep the youth more engaged, you just need to stay connected with them. Um, not necessarily on a large general aspect, but specifically reach out to a specific youth member, see what's going on in their life, and just build that connection. The youth said, you think that I like to talk about the word. Use games and other exciting ways to talk about the word. This is the end of the video, guys. Thank you guys for coming back each and every single week. If you were a leader, I pray that you was taking notes. Now I pray that you'll be able to apply these things to your church to get more youth engaged. If you haven't already liked the video, subscribe if you're new. Turn on your post notifications. Anytime I upload, you get a notification. Part four and part five to this series will be dropping over the next two weeks. This is Motivation for Young Christians. I'm out. Hey.